Welcome to Training Tuesday for August 2nd, 2022. You're going to get to see four learners today. Three are from the Morelia Complex and one is a Korean rat snake. I have to mention right from the start before we watch too much of this session that pop on carpet pythons, Morelia spilota harrisoni, have really been the most challenging to teach impulse control to. They learn immediately to associate the target with food, but it's been very difficult to get them to separate that meaning and to teach them that they have to interact with the target in some other way or move locations or do some other behavior in order to earn reinforcement upon presentation of the target. They see the target and they have this prepotent response, which is a reflexive response to seeing the target they immediately strike because they associate that target with food. All of the other species of Morelia that I work with, including the Morelia spilota variegata, which you're seeing here, a Darwin carpet python, have been able to initially learn to associate the target with food, but upon me unpairing the target with food within, oh, the first three sessions maximum, they learn very quickly that earning reinforcement upon presentation of the target is contingent upon performing some other behavior first. So Asgard here is learning to delay reinforcement. He is exhibiting impulse control and he's using his brain to think about what it is I want him to do so that he can earn his reinforcement. And what I want him to do in this session is just come over his enclosure threshold and out the door which he does, and then that earns him the reinforcement. I work with many species and subspecies of snakes in the Morelia complex, and of all of the ones I work with, inland carpet pythons and brettles pythons are by far my best learners of any snakes. So I find it interesting that my best, and if you wanna term it worst learners, are both in the Morelia complex. As you've seen in many other training videos, my snakes that actually do the most complex behaviors are Morelia bradley and Morelia spilota metcalfii, the inland carpet pythons. Merlin, for example, is an inland carpet python. He does some very long and complex behaviors with targeting and stationing, as does Boreth, one of my brettles pythons, and it's typical of those two species. This is Celea, she's one of my brettles pythons, and she is seeing the scale station for the first time. She's been with me for quite a while and she's not an extremely outgoing snake as far as exploration so i've had her for three years and she's only this year started wanting to come out of her enclosure and explore the room which she's done several times in the last couple of months so now i'm pairing the targeting with trying to get her to come out of the enclosure so she's now coming out of the enclosure at times of her own accord when she wants to to explore the room and she does very well with targeting within her enclosure and now i'm trying to pair the two i'm trying to teach her that she can target out of her enclosure when i ask her to and that coming out of her enclosure just isn't when she wants to and when she feels like exploring. And again, that's a new behavior for her just within the last couple of months. She's been very, very content in this enclosure just to remain in there. And she doesn't hide. She's not fearful. She's not shy. She's not reactive. She stays highly visible in this enclosure and she seldom hides. It's just that she hasn't had an inclination to come out until recently. And so now that she is starting to come out, I would like to teach her that she can come out when I ask her to come out. And that's what I'm doing here. So initially I started targeting her like normal and she came partway out her enclosure threshold. But then when she hovered over the scale, she put on the brakes. So then I went ahead and paired the target with food, but I left it a distance away from her that she needed to come out further in order to reach it. And yes, I'm using it a little bit as a lure now, not the target, but the rodent. But this isn't her first time coming out. She's experienced coming out and she's experienced targeting. And now I'm trying to teach her that we can pair those two things together. That when I target her, sometimes it might mean that I'm asking her to come out. And so this was her first experience with that combination. 
This is my Korean rat snake, Sargon, and he is always an enthusiastic participant in our target training sessions. He's highly food motivated. However, he has learned over the years to delay reinforcement, show some impulse control. He's very exuberant and very quick to follow the target. He doesn't get out of control and strike at it repeatedly like the pop on carpet pythons do. He waits for me to present the reinforcer before he snatches it. And then he's always exuberant in the manner in which he snatches it and the manner in which he handles it. And he typically does eat it hanging down like this. This is a little bit bigger mouse than I normally feed him because I'm only doing one repetition during this session. A lot of times I'll feed him two or three smaller mice. This is a larger mouse and he's being very dramatic about the way he's handling it. 